गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू जी के टूडे एंड टूडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट एम सी क्यूज फॉर नाइनटीन ऑफ जुलाई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री लेट स्टार्ट विद विच स्टेट और द यूनियन टेरिटरी लॉन्च्ड द अपग्रेडेड वर्जन ऑफ प्रधानमंत्री जन आरोग्य योजना मुख्यमंत्री अमृतम स्कीम सो रिसेंटली द गुजरात गवर्नमेंट हैज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड एन अपग्रेडेड वर्जन ऑफ प्रधानमंत्री जन आरोग्य योजना एंड इट अलाउज द इंडिविजुअल्स टू एक्सेस फ्री मेडिकल ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ अप टू टेन लाख रुपीज एंड दिस इज एन इंक्रीमेंट फ्रॉम द प्रीवियस लिमिट ऑफ फाइव लाख रुपीज सो अ टोटल ऑफ टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी सेवन गवर्नमेंट हॉस्पिटल्स एट हंड्रेड थ्री प्राइवेट हॉस्पिटल्स एंड एटीन सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट हॉस्पिटल्स इन द स्टेट आर ऑथराइज टू ऑफर मेडिकल ट्रीटमेंट एंड परफॉर्म द सर्जरीज ओके सो गुजरात गवर्नमेंट हैज लॉन्च द अपग्रेडेड वर्जन ऑफ दिस प्रधानमंत्री जन आरोग्य योजना मुख्यमंत्री अमृतम स्कीम ना अपार्ट फ्रॉम इट विच स्टेट और द यूनियन टेरिटरी हैज अप्रूव्ड द ओबरा डी थर्मल पावर प्लांट्स सो दिस इज उत्तर प्रदेश स्टेट एंड बेसिक एम इज टू एंश्योर अफोर्डेबल इलेक्ट्रिसिटी फॉर द रेसिडेंट्स ऑफ उत्तर प्रदेश द गवर्नमेंट हैज गिवेन इट्स अप्रूवल फॉर टू ओबरा डी थर्मल पावर प्रोजेक्ट एंड दीज पावर प्लांट्स विद अ कैपेसिटी ऑफ एट हंड्रेड मेगा वॉट ईच विल बी कंस्ट्रक्टेड इन ओबरा एट एन एस्टिमेटेड कॉस्ट ऑफ एटीन थाउजेंड करोर रुपीज फाइन सो दिस इज द इनिशियेटिव ऑफ उत्तर प्रदेश गवर्नमेंट दिन अपार्ट फ्रॉम इट वी हैव टॉक अबाउट अमा उड़ीसा नवीन उड़ीसा स्कीम राइट एंड रिसेंटली इट हैज बीन अप्रूव्ड बाय द उड़ीसा स्टेट कैबिनेट एंड बेसिक एम इज टू इनहेंस द रूरल इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर टू सेफ गार्ड कल्चर एंड द ट्रेडिशन ऑफ जगन्नाथ कम्युनिटी फाइन देन फ्यू डेज बैक वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट द मुखरा विलेज इट इज बेसिकली अ मॉडल विलेज इन द अदिलाबाद डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ तेलंगाना स्टेट वाइट वॉज इन न्यूज बिकॉज इट हैज रिसेंटली अचीव्ड द डिस्टिंगशन ऑफ बींग द फर्स्ट हैबिटेशन इन द स्टेट टू हैव हंड्रेड परसेंट इंश्योरेंस कवरेज ओके सो यू कैन बी आस्ट दैट मुखरा इज अ मॉडल विलेज दैट लाइज इन विच स्टेट आंसर इट बी तेलंगाना देन वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट द गांधी सागर सेंचुरी एंड इट लाइज इन द स्टेट ऑफ मध्य प्रदेश राइट नो यू हैव टू टेल मी वाल्मीकि नेशनल पार्क लाइज इन विच इंडियन स्टेट प्लीज राइट योर आंसर इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन नो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज विच इंस्टीट्यूशन रिलीज द ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री एम्प्लॉयमेंट आउटलुक रिपोर्ट सो दिस इज द रिपोर्ट ऑफ ओ ई सी डी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन फॉर इकोनॉमिक कॉपरेशन एंड डेवलपमेंट एंड एज पर दिस आउटलुक देर इज करेंटली लिमिटेड एविडेंस ऑफ नोटेबल एडवर्स इम्पैक्ट्स ऑन एम्प्लॉयमेंट रिजल्टिंग फ्रॉम आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस ऑल्सो द रिपोर्ट हाईलाइटेड दैट डिस्पाइट द करेंट लो एडोपन रेट ऑफ ए आई द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ स्विफ्ट एडवांसमेंट डिक्रीजिंग कॉस्ट एंड द ग्रोइंग पूल ऑफ स्किल्ड ए आई प्रोफेशनल्स सजेस्ट दैट द ओ ई सी डी इकोनमीज कुड बी ऑन द वर्ल्ड ऑफ एन इमिनेंट ए आई रेवल्यूशन ओके सो वॉट्स इन साइड द रिपोर्ट इज नॉट एट ऑल इम्पॉर्टेंट ओनली थिंग यू हैव टू रिमेंबर इज एम्प्लॉयमेंट आउटलुक रिपोर्ट हैज बिन रिलीज बाय ओ ई सी डी एंड नाउ यू हैव टू टेल मी वेयर डज द हेडक्वार्टर्स ऑफ ओ ई सी डी लाइ नाउ हियर इफ यू टॉक अबाउट फ्यू इम्पॉर्टेंट रिपोर्ट्स द फर्स्ट वन इज फूड आउटलुक रिपोर्ट फूड आउटलुक रिपोर्ट इज रिलीज बाय द फूड एंड एग्रीकल्चर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन द फूड एंड एग्रीकल्चर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हेडक्वार्टर ऑफ विच लाइज इन रोम इटली second report here is the hunger hotspots and this is a joint report of food and agriculture organization along with world food program the third report is joint malnutrition estimate report this is again the joint report of unicef world bank and world health organization fine then the fourth report here is the state food safety index which is released by ministry of health and family welfare in this 
If you talk about the larger states category, the winner was Kerala. In the smaller states category, the winner is Goa. And if you talk about the union territories, the winner is Jammu and Kashmir. Fine. Next question is, Kal Puja festival is celebrated in which state or the union territory? This is a Hindu festival, first of all. And it occurs a fortnight following the Kharchi Puja. And it pays tribute to Kar, who is a protective deity. It is mainly observed in the state of Tripura and it is a century old traditional festival. Also the area around the royal palace has been notified for Kar Puja where the rituals are held uninterrupted for more than 30 years. Okay, so Kar Puja is a festival that is celebrated in the state of Tripura. Also you can be asked that Kharji Puja is a festival that is celebrated in which state? So again answer is Tripura. Then if you talk about few important festivals, the first one is Bhogali Bihu and this is the dance festival of Assam, right? Second one is Yugadi. Yugadi is a festival that is celebrated in different states like Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, etc. Third festival here is very famous Hornbill. Hornbill is a festival that is celebrated in the state of Naga land. Okay, I'm sorry it got erased. We were at uh, the third number of festival that is Hornbill, right? And Hornbill is a festival from the state of Nagaland. The fourth festival here is Pongal. Pongal belongs to the state of Tamil Nadu. The fifth one is Bathu Kamma and Bathu Kamma is a floral festival of Telangana state, right? Then the sixth one and the last one is Khajuraho festival and it is celebrated in the state of Madhya Pradesh. Fine. Now next question is, Lower Museum which was seen in the news recently is located in which country? Actually India is in the final stages of establishing a unique partnership with the renowned Lower Museum to assist in the design and the planning of the proposed new national museum in the national capital located on Rezina Hills. Okay. And during the Prime Minister Narendra Modi's visit to Paris, an extensive cultural agreement is expected to be signed between the Indian and the French governments. So this museum is located in the country France. Then apart from it, as per a recent draft notice, installation of air conditioning system has been mandated in the cabins of trucks manufactured from which particular date. So recently the Indian government released a draft notice that requires the installation of the air conditioning systems in the truck cabins manufactured from 1st of January 2025 onwards. And this step aims to enhance the working system in the cabins of the motor vehicles belonging to the categories N2 and N3 will be mandatory and the N2 category motor vehicles are the goods carriages of 3.5 tons while N3 exceed the 12 tons fine so here you can be asked that as per a recent draft notice the installation of air conditioning system has been mandated in the cabins of trucks manufactured from which date so answer would be 1st of January 2025. Now apart from it which department issued the quality control orders for portable water bottles and flame producing lighter. So this is department for promotion of industry and internal trade. They have issued the official notification regarding quality control orders for two items, portable water bottles and the flame producing lighters. And the objective of these quality control order is to bolster India's quality infrastructure and improve the well-being and safety of the consumers. So which department has issued these quality control orders? Answer would be Department of Promotion of Industry and Internal Trade. The next question is, which country hosted the India-Arab Business Partnership Conference recently? So the 6th India-Arab Partnership Conference 2023 was organized in New Delhi and as we know that UAE is 
the third largest trading partner of India, while Saudi Arabia was the fourth largest partner during the last financial year. So the conference has provided a useful platform to the business community on both the sides so as to explore the new prospects for trade and investment. Okay. So which country has hosted this India-Arab Business Partnership Conference? Answer it be India. Then apart from it, which country is the host of Asian Athletics Championship 2023? So recently it uh, started in the country Thailand and it has chosen revered Hindu god Hanuman as the official mascot for this year's event. And this championship event coincides with the 50th anniversary of the continental governing body. Also, this is Asia's biggest track and field meet. Okay. So which country is the host of Asian Athletics Championship? Answer would be Thailand. Now, apart from it, what was the venue for International Maritime Organization? So the host for this event is London City, right? Then after that, what was the host for the Laser National Championship? Answer would be Sikandra Bad. Okay. Then what is the host for G20 SAI Summit? That is Supreme Audit Institution Summit. Here answer would be Goa. And venue for the Y20 meet is Kashmir. Right. So these are the few important summits and the conferences. Ines Trishul conducted India's first ever Joint Exclusive Economic Zone Surveillance with which country's Navy? So during the recent visit of External Affairs Minister S. Jai Shankar to the country Tanzania, Guided Missile Frigate that is INS Trishul visited the ports of Zanzibar and Dar es Salaam in the country Tanzania. Also INS Trishul conducted India's first ever Joint Exclusive Economic Zone Surveillance with the Tanzanian Navy. And also it participated in a maritime partnership exercise with TNS Fatundu and Pengusi. These are the naval ships of the country Tanzania. Fine. So here answer would be Tanzania. Now here we talk about few Indian Navy ships that were in use. The first one is INS Sujata. This is a Sukanya class petrol vessel of Indian Navy that has recently visited the country Mozambique as a part of its overseas deployment. Okay. Basic purpose is to improve the bilateral relations and mutual cooperation between the two navies. Fine. The second ship is INS Vikrant and this is an aircraft carrier. Basically, you can say that this is the first carrier to be built indigenously that is constructed by Cochin Shipyards Limited and it was commenced in the year 2022. Also, INS Vikrant can carry 26 MiG 29K or 26 Rafale fighter jets with itself. Okay. And which country has helped us in developing INS Vikrant? So that country is Russia. Right. And what is the name of the second anti submarine warfare shallow watercraft? This is Androth. Okay. And what was the name of the first anti submarine warfare shallow watercraft? This is Arnala. Okay. Also, don't forget that uh, INS Magar has been decommissioned recently after providing 36 years of its service to the Indian Navy. Next question is, what is the name of India's first regional artificial intelligence news presenter? So, Odisha TV, which is an Odia based news station, has unveiled Lisa, which is India's first regional AI news anchor. And Lisa's introduction marks a groundbreaking moment in TV broadcasting and journalism. So this artificial intelligence suggests the ability to converse in multiple languages like Odia, English, etc. Also she would soon host news updates which would showcase her capabilities as an artificial intelligence news anchor. Fine. So India's first regional AI news presenter is Lisa. This is an important question. After that, which paper has recently won the Gandhi Peace Prize. So this year Gandhi Peace Prize has been conferred to Gita Press from Gorakhpur. Okay. Then apart from it, what is the peculiarity of LTT 9779B 
exoplanet that has been recently discovered first of all you have to remember that this is a term for exoplanet this is our exoplanet and uh, recently it has been identified by the astronomers the size of this body is like neptune and it is located over 260 light years away from the earth basically it reflects 80 percent of the light from its host star and it is the first exoplanet found to exhibit a similar brightness level as with venus so this ultra hot exoplanet acts like a cosmic mirror because it is covered by a reflective clouds of metal fine so what is the specialty of this exoplanet so it is the most reflective planet okay next is which institution has developed a flexible composite semiconductor material using inkjet printing so scientists at the department of materials engineering in iisc bangalore have developed a flexible composite semiconductor material using the inkjet printing and it has the potential for various applications in the next generation technologies like flexible or curved displays foldable phones and wearable electronics fine so the indian institute of science bangalore has developed this flexible composite semiconductor material using inkjet printing also don't forget that it madras is set to establish its new campus in zanzibar in the country tanzania and with this it madras is the very first iit of india that is set to establish its campus outside india fine which country launched methane and liquid oxygen powered rocket zook 2 so chinese aerospace company landscape recently launched methane and liquid oxygen powered rocket named as zook 2 from the juquan satellite launch center and this successful mission involved placing a test payload into the sun synchronous orbit making landscape the first company globally to accomplish this achievement fine so china has launched the methane and liquid oxygen powered rocket the name of which is zook 2 simply you can be asked that zook 2 belongs to which country so that would be china now apart from it the feline infectious peritonitis is recently spreading in which country so this is a feline strain of coronavirus and it has been causing devastating consequences from the cat population on Cyprus. So rapid spread of this disease has particularly affected the stray cats of this island which are known for their friendly behavior towards human and uh, Republic of Cyprus is an island country that lies in the eastern Mediterranean Sea. Right? So this is a, a strain that is currently spreading in the country Cyprus. Can you tell me Peru country has declared the national emergency because of which particular disease? Please write your answer in the comment section. Yesterday we have talked about it. Then apart from it, as per recent report, what percentage of the poorest people of the global population face around 40% higher vulnerability to the heat waves than the wealthiest? So as per a new study, the least affluent 25% of the global population face around 40% of higher vulnerability to heat waves if we compare it to the wealthiest population. So by the 2060, regions with higher poverty rates are projected to experience the heat waves two to five times more frequently if we compare it with the wealthier nations. Fine. So this data is 25%. And now the last question says, Prayuth Chan Ocha, who was seen in the news recently, was the Prime Minister of which particular country? So the Prime Minister of Thailand, Mr. Prayuth Chan Ocha, has made an announcement of his departure from the political arena. And after assuming power in a coup as the army chief in the year 2014, he has held Thailand's highest position and governed the country since then. Okay, So Prayuth Chan Ocha was the Prime Minister of country Thailand. Then apart from it, who is the new president of the country, Latvia? This is Edgars Rinke Wicks. Okay. Then who is the new CEO of UIDAI, Unique Identification Authority of India? So this is Mr. Amit Agarwal. Then who is the new Director General of Geological Survey of India? So answer would be Janardhan Prasad. Fine. So these are the most important 
current affairs and the news from today and now let's start with today's quiz here on the slide you can see five questions which have been taken from the past two three days current affairs pause the video and try to solve each of these questions and at the end of the lecture do not forget to share your scores in the comment section so please be honest and do not cheat with yourself so that's it for today i hope you have liked the session these were the important news and events from today and we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs till then stay tuned thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to gk today with this minus hatsana signing off